Hello friends, it's Priscilla here. I'm hanging out in my front porch. I live in sunny South Florida and uh, I just got home from teaching. Uh, every Tuesday I teach art class to some little ones and I just wanted to tell you guys about the lesson today. It was pretty fantastic. Um, you could probably hear all the dogs barking. There's some dogs barking right now. <laughs> um, but today's class was pretty fantastic. So moving forward in this school that I teach on Tuesdays, they really want to see a lot more technique um, and a lot more mastery of the elements and the principles and really understanding art. So um, I did explore line towards the beginning of school and I would integrate a lot of social emotional work or social emotional learning into the work. And now I'm focusing more on technique. So that's really cool. And what I decided to do for the next few classes is to really do a deep dive and exploration into the world of color. So my kids are really, really, really working on color right now. And today, you know, we've talked about the color wheel. Um, they're pretty good at knowing how the color wheel works. However, it's it's the color wheel and color theory is something that gets to be revisited over and over and over and over again through a person's life as they grow through the different stages. And, and I mean like through childhood and then, I mean, for me, I know how important it was. Um, and then stepping into high school where I went to a uh, art focused high school, a specialized high school um, where Again, we talked about color theory and everything, but on a deeper level. So I let them know like, hey, we're gonna talk about color all the time. And today we made our own color wheels. And really what I wanted them to get out of today is having a better understanding on how to mix colors because they can know, right? They can, I, I'll tell them, okay, raise your hand. If you know, how do you make purple? And a kid will be like red and blue. But to actually be in action and actually take the paintbrush and mix the perfect amount of red and the perfect amount of blue to get the right purple, because maybe you might be looking for more like an indigo, maybe you want something like a violet or more like a magenta purple. So today was more about really understanding the paint and playing with the paint and mixing and seeing how some colors are stronger than others and just really getting the feeling. And it was so fun to see them mixing their colors and getting it and getting it however they got it because everyone's green was different everyone's purple was different you know all the secondary colors so uh, i'll show you a couple of clips of what the kids were working on and it was just so beautiful to see the class come together and in this school i teach um on tuesdays and i teach grades one through four so when it comes to the fourth graders they're a little bit older so they can understand a little bit more and i like to go a little bit deeper with them so with them I didn't just do the primary and secondary colors, which is six colors in total, but we actually made one that also had the treasury colors. <laughs> so I think it's a little more complicated and there was 12 pieces of a pie in that one instead of just six. And that's the other thing too, I made it more fun with calling it a, okay guys, we're gonna make, I told them we're gonna make a color wheel rainbow pizza pie okay so here we go and this is gonna have six slices of pie and even just making the shape itself there was a little math involved there was some thinking so today's class was really good in getting them to focus getting them to pay attention to my voice getting them to self-regulate right because a lot of the times in my art class I do like to give them some free time to just chit chat while they're creating their artwork but today they really needed to follow all the steps step by step pretty much during the whole period so um it was really cool exploring that type of um way that i like operated with them and the classroom management how it, it kept coming up and the behavioral and and just getting everybody to listen to be silent to be focused right and to talk about what all that means too so um yeah today was awesome thank you for being here and enjoy the next clips This is the 
All right, y'all. So that's what you got for today. A little color wheel, color theory action. Um, and of course, I also showed them a little video. I always find a fun little video, three to five minutes on YouTube, because um, they love watching videos. So why not mix it up and have somebody else tell them exactly what I'm teaching them and then I teach them so they get to hear things through different perspectives over and over again. Um, so yeah, stay tuned uh, as we explore the world of color. I'm not sure what I'm doing next week, but it's going to be evolving color again. Um, I might go into doing a warm color painting or a cool color painting, just really exploring what exactly the color wheel means and how to understand it fully. Um, so if you got any value of watching this video, if you enjoyed it at all, you can hit that like button or not, and you can hit subscribe to follow along in my teaching artist journey as I explore what it is to be a teacher. And it is such an honor to be leading the next generation of leaders. I'm so happy to be teaching and we've gone through half the school year so far and I absolutely love it. I look forward to every Tuesday and I learn so much. I <laughs> uh, hope you're having a beautiful day. Happy creating. Bye-bye.